They hate when you elevate You're stacking up losses, I'm handing them out, yeah, I had to go delegate It feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment, I swear I could levitate They never believed that I would really fly What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damien Cryer And I am back in the building with another video I hope you guys have having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today If y'all have not subscribed to the Cryer family You already know what to do Turn that bell on so you subscribe to the channel But being subscribed to the channel only means you are subscribed you don't get the notifications every time I drop a video. You know what, man? I don't have to say all that, do I? Y'all already know what to do, man. Turn that bell on. You're already watching the video. You're already typing comments in the comment section. Why not just press the subscribe button, man? Because I told y'all I'm going to be dropping a video every single day this weekend. And don't play with me. Don't piss me off and make me start dropping back-to-back -back videos all week. Say something. Say something. I... Say something right now. I swear I'm gonna start dropping videos every day. Don't make me. You know what, man? Anyway, guys, so listen, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So the other day, I did two videos in the same day. I actually dropped both of those videos in the same day. Excuse me, one which was going to the Dollar Tree, doing a small little vlog for you guys. Well, I said small, it turned into 40 minutes. Sorry about that, guys. Sort of sorry about that, guys. So I did the going shopping at Dollar Tree and I also made my first Dollar Tree meal, which was the chili and cheese sausage and stuff. And when I did that video, that particular video, the people liked, I made a meal using Dollar Tree items. They liked the video so much. If y'all don't believe me, go back, the comments are still there. Some people in the comments, multiple people in the comments said, Mr. Cryer, you should do a couple more videos or start doing videos like this cooking Dollar Tree items so your boy has been inspired so on this beautiful cloudy ass Saturday afternoon I am finna make Dollar Tree manwich guys I'm making I'm, I'm finna make my Saturday lunch using Dollar Tree manwich guys so right now I got up I went to the store earlier because I needed a few other items so I went and got me some buns. These are the ballpark buns. Says weekend forecast bun ahead. So how dope is that? This just happens to be the weekend. So right now to start off my journey, I have this small pack of ground beef that I bought. And guys, remember the other day, I did a video where I made the Dollar Tree uh, meal using Dollar Tree items and I had this jalapeno sausage so I had two left in the refrigerator so I went ahead and cut this up in little small little chunks and I also have a pack of ground beef this is a small pack I can't remember how much this ground beef costs but I had paid like I don't know I don't want to say the wrong thing I'm gonna just say I paid under 10 bucks for this pack of ground beef right here uh, and this didn't come from Dollar Tree this actually came from HEB I'm about to be putting this in my pan in a minute, but I'm going to tell you guys, I decided to go ahead and add my own little spice to the manwich uh, instead of just making hamburger and manwich. So when I went to the Dollar Tree, I picked up four cans of this manwich and um, oh guys, hold on. The, um, this is so important. This is some of my spices that I'm going to be using for my manwich, guys. I'm actually sauteing me some green peppers and onions. Y'all know how I am. I cannot really have a meal without my onions. I had just a little small tad bit of Pam oil that I sprayed in the pan because the ground beef is going to be mixed in here and it's going to observe and make its own oils. Anyway, I'm going to turn this down just a tad bit, guys. Kind of moving fast because I have company coming over today. But anyway, so I went and picked up four cans of this manwich from Dollar Tree. And when I bought this manwich, Someone and you know someone in the comments said hey that doesn't have ground beef in it You have to get your own ground beef and I'm be honest with you guys I did not read the can at the time. It says manwich original sloppy joe sauce I wasn't paying attention what I paid attention to Was that right there that picture so I went ahead and said you know what I got to hook this up the right way And also somebody said something about my utensils in the last video to get cooking utensils. So I went out and got a few of these little things today. So I'm not scraping my pan or irritating anyone's ears. So the first thing I'm gonna do guys, I got these nice and brown. I actually seasoned these up with seasoning salt. 
and black pepper. And I'm not going to use a whole lot of seasonings. Why? Because the sandwich already is going to give it its own flavor and I don't want to take away from the flavor. So now that I have the sauteed, I'm going to come over here, grab all the sauces right here. And before I put the ground beef in, I'm going to let the sausage actually cook a little bit in this pan. I don't know, like everybody got like a different way that they make their sandwich. But and a sandwich is not something that I make. I'm sorry about that. I had the camera too high. Sandwich is not a meal that I make every single day, uh, but it's a meal that I make today. And I'm gonna try to hook this up, and you know what I'm saying. So I can try something different for lunch. So this is just gonna be my lunch. And like I said, I got company. My daughter and my grandchildren are gonna be coming over here in just about a couple of hours. So who knows? Maybe my grandbabies are like this. My daughter, I don't know, man. She has those pregnancy cravings, so I don't know what's going to like affect her as far as her cravings and make her sick or not. But I'm going to go ahead and let this cook a little bit. I just turned it down to about, ooh, that's still kind of high, y'all. I got this down to three and a half. Since there's almost no oil in the pan, I'm going to turn it down to three so it cooks a little slower. You guys can kind of see how it's sauteed really good. It's starting to cook really well. And again, guys, oh, I wanted to show you. So back to the sandwich. So I paid attention to the picture on the label, thinking like, okay, this is going to have everything in it. Because when I bought the, uh, the uh, chili beans and stuff, it had the meat in there. It actually had the chili. So it wasn't, I mean, everything was as advertised. Right there where it's advertised, it has the beans and the, and the meat in it. It's, that's what's actually in this can. So it says chili with beans, all beef. This one, I just assume that this Dollar Tree product had the meat in it as well. And this is what it looks like when I opened it up. So it turns out all this in here is just the sauce, guys. So this is what it actually looks like. See the sausage and everything is cooked really well with the onions and peppers. And again, I've never did this before. So this is actually like my first time making it like this now i've had sandwich before obviously we've all had sandwich it's a really really quick meal but i'm gonna need both of my hands to kind of like break this meat up and the reason why i said earlier i sprayed a little bit of the pan in the pan is because i don't want to put too much in there because i wanted to uh let the ground beef make its own oil which is going to make its own oil in a way and then i'm gonna have to strain all that oil off and by the way, I do have two cans of the sandwich sauce out. I have one open and one unopened. But since I was adding such a large pack of ground beef, I decided, well, why not go ahead and have another can out just in case I may need to use the second can. Again, this is an extremely easy meal to make. And I'm actually using Dollar Tree products. Um, so... This is gonna be the second cooking video that I've ever did in my life using Dollar Tree products to make a meal. And this did it because you guys suggested that I try this. Now, if I do a couple more of these meals and I know that you guys really like it, I may actually go ham at Dollar Tree and just go crazy as far as getting meals with me showing you guys, me buying the meals, me prepping the meals, and then who knows, I may actually do a family dollar or dollar general meals versus Dollar Tree meals. If that's something that you guys would like to see, y'all already know. Drop some comments in the comment section down below. I'm going to go ahead and get this stirred up nice so you guys can see what it looks like. Get out the way, cutting it. All right, I'm sorry about that. You got to get it nice and stirred up. That way, the meat, the sauteed onions and peppers and the sausage is already done. But I'm just going to like try to get that ground beef down there and then most importantly get all of these flavors mixed up together. Now, I'm not going to season the meat because as I said earlier, I use seasoning salt and black pepper for the sauteed onions already and I didn't use a lot. And I don't want to really season the meat for other reasons as far as like I don't want to take away from the flavor of the uh, sloppy joe sauce. So that's why I'm not going to actually season it. Um, I don't want to drain the flavors out from being able to enjoy the sandwich. And you just get it all stirred up. You know, once it's all stirred up, 
we're gonna turn it down a little bit lower and kind of like bring it to a simmer guys and that way you guys can see step by step how I did it and again the video is actually gonna be longer than it takes to actually prep this meal and the reason being is because I want to show you guys step by step how I did it and talk to you guys about the store that I went to you guys know what I'm talking about so this meal may only take if you just use like ground okay let's just say for instance if you're only using just ground beef and the sauce the uh, sandwich sauce it won't take that long basically you just get your ground beef all cooked up and stuff and drain the meat off and then you pour your sauce on there and come on in here kids let's eat basically it's done but mine took a little bit longer because i wanted to add a little bit more to mine and so you guys make this dish at home comment down below especially if you make it this way how dope is that to wake up on a saturday morning and knowing that you don't have to cook a big meal and then you're only using one pan there's really no dishes involved except the dish that you want to use to feed your family your children your significant other or whatever the case is so i can show you guys what it looks like now this is what it's looking like right now so i know i should put a lid on there right now but i'm actually not going to put a lid on it at all um the last things that i'm gonna do i'm gonna let this go for for a little bit um and let everything cook in together and then eventually i'm going to grab my strainer and drain all that excess oil off and after that we're going to go ahead and um pour the sandwich on it again i don't think now that i'm looking at everything in the pan i mean in the skillet i may not actually need both cans of this but um who knows man let me try it but it's actually cooking very well again oh you know what i did everything but bring it to us oh yes i did i brought it to a simmer so I brought it to a simmer, and that's, if you have an electric stove, the simmer is like around the low temperature. You turn your stove on like the low temperature. So you guys see how easy that was? Someone, a few people commented on my last video and said that I should start doing Dollar Tree meals and that they would tune in to watch. And then somebody else said it, and like I said, multiple people said it. And just that easy, will I, I was inspired to do it. why not you know um a lot of people always have like video suggestions and a lot of those video suggestions i'm not able to do like people want pranks stuff like that and it's like you can't really prank yourself and it's kind of hard to do those type of videos that people request um you know because of the situation a lot of stuff you know it's not really meant for social media i guess if that makes sense I posted my part of my date night video recently and I took it down because like I you know I'm really confused about showing everything else I want to the videos are already done um, I just like I'm just kind of f having a struggle with myself like do I want to really show too much of anything you know and trust me the videos are yeah I said videos with the S on it the videos are so much fun y'all would love them Knowing y'all, y'all would definitely want more too. But I'm still up in the air about when. It's not a question of if I'm going to post them. It's just a question of when I'm going to post them. So, guys, see how that's turning brown now? I'm going to zoom in instead of putting my camera right there. That looks really good, guys. I thought about buying like a much thicker bun. They had uh, hamburger buns like this, but they were much thinner. And being that I'm making sandwich, I don't want to put the sandwich on the sandwich and it starts soaking through the bun and oil starts spilling all to the side. So I went with these thicker buns. They cost like, you know, a few cent more. But I think that these would be well, well worth the dish that I'm making. So anyway, guys, I'm going to shut this off for right now. So I'm back. The meat is finally to where I can go ahead and take this meat off the eye and go ahead and strain the meat. So this is the setup I have right here again i take constructive criticism very well one time i had strained the meat in the sink inside my straining bowl 
while I was making like tacos or something and somebody said, Mr. Cryer, all that oil is going down your sink. So you need to put like a bowl or a plate up under it to catch that excess oil. And so that's what I did. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did this. So I have my straining bowl. I also have a paper plate right here up under the straining bowl to catch the excess oil so that it does not go down the seat, the sink, and I can discard that uh, very safely. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the meat. As you guys see, it is cooked and it is ready to strain. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this right over. It might actually, that hot oil may actually melt the paper plate a little bit, but it's okay though, it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and take this off the eye. I'm actually gonna take it off the eye for a minute or two before I actually dump it into the strainer. That way I don't cause um, clogging in my sink or anything like that. So anyway, while that's cooling off for a second guys, I want to ask you guys something like as far as these type of videos this type of content i know for like a long time i always promised and said i was going to bring cooking videos back and then weeks would go by where i didn't drop a cooking video but it seemed like no matter what type of video i had proceeded to drop on my channel you have some people in the comments even if it was like three or four people out of a hundred comments that they would come and say mr crier can you do a cooking video? Can you bring cooking videos back? So I'm not gonna sit here and say that I can make a big promise as far as like bringing back cooking videos when it comes to like big meals. But I wanna let you guys decide um, what Dollar Tree food item that you want me to make. Now, when I say, um, so you guys get a clear understanding of these type of videos right here. When I say like this video, I made manwich using Dollar Tree items. It doesn't mean that every item that's in this dish actually came from Dollar Tree. What it means is that I picked some particular items from Dollar Tree that I wanted to make a meal out of, like the manwich, or if I get spaghetti noodles from Dollar Tree, I may want to get spaghetti noodles from Dollar Tree and compare the spaghetti noodles from Dollar Tree to the spaghetti noodles at family dollar now i don't know how true it is but i was in uh, dollar tree recently and it was a particular item that i'm always looking for when i go in there and i asked one of the ladies i said well when do you guys this truck come in because i've been going to every dollar tree and every one that i went to is out of this item and i'm gonna tell you guys houston has a lot of dollar trees they got a lot but what I didn't know, the lady at Dollar Tree, she told me that Family Dollar up the street was their sister store. It was, I don't want to say the wrong thing, it was Family Dollar or it was Dollar General. You know what? Maybe it was Dollar General because there's a Dollar General in that same plaza. But she said Dollar General is their sister store. So pretty much the items that they don't have, Dollar General actually has the same items. They just like it. They just don't say Dollar Tree on the items. It's packaged up differently. Well, I guess the Dollar Tree items don't really say Dollar Tree on them. At least not all of them. So, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what item do you guys want me to try next? I did get a few cans of tuna, and I wanted to try like the Dollar Tree tuna versus Family Dollar tuna. So if that's something that you guys want to see me do in a cooking video, let me know. Even though it's not really cooking because you have to boil the eggs and stuff. But they got like so many amazing meals in Dollar Tree that you could actually cook. And so many people, I don't know why people sleep on Dollar Tree, man. I don't know what it is, man. I could become a millionaire tomorrow. And I'm telling you right now, I'm still going to shop at Dollar Tree. As a matter of fact, when I'm at Dollar Tree, people come up to me all the time who actually recognize me from like YouTube or Facebook, and they'd be like, Mr. Cryer, what are you doing here? Or they say, Mr. Cryer, what are you doing on this side of town? Listen, I'm a free spirit. I don't like, I'm not one of those people, I, you know, I get a few dollars and I get a little fame and I'm too good to go here. That's going to be always, always be one of my places that I love to go. I remember one of my relatives say, man, if you had some enemies that was after you, if they really wanted to get you, all they got to do is go to Dollar Tree and sit there for a week or so, or maybe even a couple of days. And, uh, they're gonna pull up especially if you did something wrong they know that you love Dollar Tree so all they gotta do is go to all the Dollar Trees in Houston wait for that red truck or that Mustang to pull up but I wish them luck with that because I ain't said nothing I ain't said nothing this is gonna be the first time I said something in one of my videos that Mustang and that red truck 
It's not the only vehicle that I got. It's just that I choose not to show certain things on social media anymore. Like some things I will show, some things I just like, it's, it's, it's like, it's best that I don't show it. So, but anyway, so leave those comments on what kind of foods you guys want me to give from Dollar Tree next to make a Dollar Tree meal or using Dollar Tree food items. So let's get this stuff and get it strained off here. Okay, so it's not cool, cool down, but it's not as the way it was when I took it out the eye. So we're just gonna look at all that grease, guys. If you don't strain that, you're gonna eat all that grease. And the thing is, before I put everything back in this pan, I'm gonna actually have to re-rinse this whole pan all the way out because this pan still holds a lot of that oil. I'm gonna set this down. And um, so that's what we're gonna do, guys. So this is what it's looking like right now. I'm gonna lift this up so you guys can just see how much oil that is that would have went down my drain if I would not have took constructive criticism well. And listen to people, that oil is still dripping off there. And now what I'm gonna do is sit here and I'm gonna just like move it around a little bit. You guys got to admit, that looks really nice, man. It really does. You can see like the peppers, you can see the sausage. Now the sausage is jalapeno. Jalapenos are in the sausage. So that's going to give the sandwich that extra added kick to it. And that's one of the reasons why I did not want to overseason the sandwich. Um, because uh, though I had seasoned the sauteed onions and the uh, peppers, I did not want to season the ground beef because that sausage is already going to give it a kick. And the sandwiches that I made the other night using this sausage, it definitely gave it a nice little kick to those sandwiches. So... And the good thing is I was able to still use some of that sausage from the other day to complete this meal right here, guys. Instead of letting it just go to waste and throwing it back in the freezer, I'm finding ways to effectively use what I got instead of running out buying extra stuff. Like the ground beef, I already had a pack of ground beef in my freezer and I took it out last night. And I was thinking, because I had wrote a list today for this video, I said, well, I already got the man, which I got buns, but they're hot dog buns, so I need to go get ground beef. And I scratched the ground beef off last night. I said, wait a minute, I have ground beef right here in the freezer. So I was able to go out and just get the onions and peppers today and um, the buns. So I probably spent a total of maybe $8 versus the 15 or 20 if I would have got the ground beef and everything. This is the second step. So the second step is I strained the meat off already. I re-cleaned the skillet out. I didn't want all that extra oil in my skillet. And I definitely don't want to ingest all that extra oil. This is the meat right here, looking nice and yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this right back in that pan, just like that. Now here it's starting to sizzle already. This is gonna be so yummy. Now, since everything is already done, I'm gonna go ahead and take my one can of sandwich and just pour it right over. I'm gonna pour a little bit at a time. I'm uh, Yep, half of the can and then I'm gonna stir it up a little bit guys. I Want this to be really thick now again. I did have a second can of the sauce out Just in case um, I may need it, but I'm having a feeling I may not need the extra can of sandwich So I'm gonna stir this up real good and then I'm gonna pour the extra can, the, the uh, rest of the contents of the can inside the skillet with the meat the sauteed onions and peppers Oh yeah, this is gonna yeah, this is the vision I had. I wanted it to come out really thick. I don't want it to be like runny off the bun. So every time you bite into it, it just like runs off and falls off to the side. I want it to be nice and thick. And so that's what it's looking like right now. Really easy meal to make, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and pour the rest of the contents of the can in here. And it looks like this one can is actually going to do it for us. Make sure I get all of it either. I'm gonna take just a tad bit of water and swish, swerve. Uh, took a little tad bit of water, added it to the can, just to kind of get that extra sauce out of there. I don't wanna waste anything. And now, and then that'll help thin it up just a little bit. I don't want it too thin. And I'm actually gonna put a lid on this while this is actually simmering, guys. So before, I didn't put a lid on it while the meat was cooking or sauteing but I find it best to put a lid on it on the third step because the third step gives it time to simmer. It gives all those juices time to simmer and you know, like marinate through the meat 
and with the lid on it it creates that vacuum of steam inside that pan with that lid on it where nothing can escape so again this is the part where it's going to be on low and i'm actually going to let this go for about 15 to 20 minutes and then i'm gonna start the cooling process before i make my sandwich and we're going to do the taste test for you guys and as i do really appreciate you guys taking the time to pull up on the saturday to watch this uh cooking video because i know you guys could be out doing anything you know even when it's cold outside people are convinced that because it's cold outside that there's nothing going on man please it's a lot going on outside uh, a lot of events and museums you can go to uh, there's indoor parks there's indoor pools that you can go to well i don't know about in y'all state but i know like in texas here like you can go to ifly um bowling bowling alley shoot pool there's just so much stuff that you can do on the weekends so especially when it's cold so people think oh it's cold out i'm not going to go do anything it's just too cold but you know everybody's different man then you got a lot of people that got who want to do stuff like that but you got to take into accountability that those people some of those people who want to do nice stuff like that they have health issues and it's kind of hard for them to really get out and do stuff mm. okay guys give you a close-up real quick we're gonna slap a lid on there that is what the man is looking like right now guys again i have the stove on right before low but i'm going to actually change it to low and we're going to pop the lid on there and just like that guys and i'm going to be back with the final steps the final steps is me making the sandwich and actually doing a taste test like i did in the last video guys so i'm gonna see you guys very shortly if you made it this far i really do appreciate all of you Thank you for this food. Thank, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for my family, my loved ones watching over all of us in every area of our life. I ask you, Lord, to continue to strengthen us in every area of our life. In the name of Jesus, amen. As I said earlier, guys, if you guys made it this far in this video, man, I really appreciate it. If you did make it this far, man, you know, hopefully you'll be able to enjoy the next hooking video I do. Again, comment down below on what dollar tree food item you want me to try next even if it's not from dollar tree it's from family dollar or dollar general but guys it has to be one of the three stores again family dollar dollar tree or dollar general one of those three stores because like they say a lot of people are starting to stockpile on food a lot of people are starting to get food and shelter it in like garages, storage bins. And there's a reason why people are buying dry foods from these stores and they start to store storm in places, which I don't get it, but there's a reason for it. A lot of people are doing videos about that. So obviously something is going on or something's going to take place. Or maybe they think Donald Trump is going to get back in office. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. Imagine Biden getting reelected. Let me stop because politics is not anything. So let's taste this bad boy. See what it looks like. See what it looks like, guys. It's nice and thick. It's not spilling all over the place. I can actually smell the jalapenos from the sausage and everything, guys. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. look at this. Nice. Nice. Let's get in. Let's give it a try. Mm. oh my god truly amazing this is good this is good my favorite part This is a nice little enjoyable lunch for Saturday. It didn't take long to cook. The only thing about this for me is it took longer because of the video. Moving around, cutting stuff up, prepping everything, straining the meat. But it's a really quick dish to make at home. To make it more enjoyable, you wanna add things to it the way that I did. 
little onions. The sauce comes with little stuff in it, but it doesn't come with everything that I actually added to it. I can taste the jalapenos from the sausage. I can taste the peppers. I can taste the onions. I can taste the tad bit of seasoning. It was really good. Very good. Mmm. I remember my mom, she used to make us stuff like this when I was younger. I'll never forget those days. I don't know how she made it as far as like the stuff that she used, but the onions and pepper thing was something that I did. I've never tried it like this before, but I guarantee you, man was just not a meal or a dish that I make all the time. But next time I make it, I'm gonna make it the exact same way. That's pretty much it. Mm. So guys, I want to say thank you so much for joining me on Saturday, on this Saturday to watch this cooking video with me, man. Comment down below if you enjoyed it and if you want more cooking videos from the Cryer family. But the next time, until next time, I love all of you guys. I'm Damian Cryer, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video.